So I'll be doing two pieces for everyone. Uh, my first one's it's called Work Boots. It's a bit light, um, but you know, I'll just get straight into it. All right. Now, for a long time, my writer's block, it was frightening. Till an idea struck me. Lightning! Lightning. So instead of talking about self-doubt or anything I'm into, I thought I'd talk about my work boots and everything we've been through. See, at my job, you only get one set every two years. I've been there for one and gone through more than a few pairs. Now, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm a hard-working citizen. It's just that I often get rid of them because I constantly live with them. My work boots are awesome. Look, you can't, I even want them to perform them. And I can transform them to gum boots to mow my lawns in. So they're covered in green, looking like the neighborhood Yoda, with their fragrant aroma mixed in with their flavored foot odor. See, I'm not afraid to walk home alone at night. Real facts. I've got one advantage. What's that? Steel caps, boom! <laughs> See, if I have to kick someone's butt on the D-Lo, I will. And they best beware, with this B.O., I kill. So don't get too close, or you get sick like the swine flu. Need I remind you, these fly shoes talk about as much as I do. And that's saying something. Yeah, these boots are made for walking, but not anymore. They caught it all like they were made for talking. Now, if I was to put myself in someone else's shoes, it's a different story. These kids are hoary, walking the same footsteps my ancestors did before me. Which is to work hard, support your loved ones. Put food on the table and clothes on the back of your young ones. See, my work boots are my best friends on a daily hour grind. When it's about that time, I hang them out to dry. Where? On a tiny house power line. Time. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. That's one. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.